Hello, my people. I always salute. So I just make a call remind you. I make you not forget. Say cut matters today or no? Today, so we be the thirty first of May. And they don't sit down for court, so no be small. Oh, hey, but what I am not gonna understand, be say, why be saying that now? Now in the court, they can't admit the false evidence against Tunumbu. Why they not do it before inauguration? Because that's when they supposed sit. They say that the judges no come. You understand? And Labour Party and PDP don't present their false witness for cause. My people, eh, the matter is just get as it be. Anyway, if you just come across my video for the first time, don't forget to like and follow my Facebook page, NHTV NG, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn the notification bell on. I don't say the fear matter won't come out of our mind. The fear matter, the uh, inauguration, the uh, DSS and SSS wahala. You don't make people don't confuse. People don't they frustrated. People just sit down. They look for you. You know they don't. They most people don't forget say cuts matter day. Anyway, sha more we still they look because person will get me. I don't even come on mind for the matter. But person will get the matter. Say in believe and trust the judiciary system. Uh, so more could just leave them making. You know, they follow the case like that. Let's see what will happen. Maybe there will be a change in Nigeria. Anyway, so guys, I go leave on and make just watch the video. Make could know what will happen today. And the way we can surprise me, pass. <laughs> First, those <laughs> kimono. I know since he no appear for any of these courts, waka with the waka. But this time around, eh, he can't show. I don't know why they don't give bros smart thing. Bros don't blow money finish from uh, America. So he don't come back. So now they don't, you know, they don't shine in hand. He can't decide to come sit down for court. I've been looking forward to see him in court. Anyway, my let you now watch the video. Don't forget to share this video and like this video. I'll go see you now for my next video. Take care. The presidential election petition court reconvened after a week to begin the definite hearing in the petitions by the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party and Labour Party, alongside the parties challenging the victory of the president, Bola Tinubu. <laughs> Mr. Peter Obi is present to witness the day's proceedings. His running mate, Yusuf Dati Ahmed, and the former Minister of State for Labour, Fesos Kayamo, are first time callers. Mr. Kayamo joins the president's team of lawyers. <laughs> Senior lawyers are seen in the field courtroom discussing in groups ahead of the sitting. <laughs> the hearing commences, led in evidence by Mr. Jibrin Okutepa, an Anambra based lawyer and witness for Labour Party, Lawrence Mwaketi, tendered a certified true copy of a United States of America District Court judgment which he claimed indicted the president and that is for feature $460,000 in drug-related offenses. The lawyer also admitted that there was no certificate from any consular in Nigeria or America in support of the judgment, but insisted that the judgment speaks for itself. Under cross-examination by counsel to APC, Latif Agbemi, the witness said the American court judgment had no certificate given under the hand of any American police officer. When asked by Fagbemi, he also denied knowledge of a February 4, 2003 former clearance report by legal attaché from the American Embassy in respect of the alleged indictment and forfeiture. The court subsequently admitted it in evidence. What we have the certified copy of the entirety of the record of proceedings from the District Court of Illinois in the United States of America, where 460 thousand uh, dollars were forfeited in the proceedings that you will see that involves what appears to be narcotic uh, dishonest substances. So those were the documents we tendered to PW and they were duly pleaded. We served them, they have it, and everyone has it. Back in the courtroom, the counsel for Atiku Abubakar and the PDP, Eita Yojegede, tendered all exhibits. Atiku's exhibit includes INEX certified true copies of declaration of results, summary of results, printout of Beaver's report for each polling unit in the 36 states, number of PVCs collected in all the states including the FCT. The court also adjourned hearing of the petition of the Allied People's Movement to June 2 to give them time to look into the certified true copy of the Supreme Court's judgment of May 26 on the controversy surrounding this double nomination of Vice President Kashim Shatima and see how it affects the petition. Emanuela Ekele, Channels Television News.